Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Meadow Grove. We are, uh, well, we're in trouble. It didn't, you know, it took longer than I thought, honestly. But, well, technically we're not in trouble yet, but we're going to get in trouble. Uh, Farmer Min had to run out, I believe he is. Maybe on the Hof Bergman, maybe? He had to run out anyways, and I was going to go fertilize the fields. And I went down to the store to talk to Grease Monkey about leasing a uh, slurry spreader. Because we have more slurry than we do manure from the pigs and the cows. And old Grease Monkey pulled a sales job on me, boy. He sold me a manure spreader. Even though it's not even what I went in there for. So, I spent most of our money on a manure spreader. And a, uh, a silage bucket. It's a little bit bigger than the bucket we had, so... To offset just a little bit of that cost, I did find an extra set of front loader arms the other day. I just found the wrong set. Um, the set I found was Farmer Men's that he took off the fence, and the set in the other barn um, that I just didn't even pay attention to was the set off of the old 4240, so, or 4440, yeah. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to take those and sell those. We'll get a little bit of our money back. You can see our new toy there. Now, this wasn't a very good idea, was it? Hmm. Either way, I'm going to have to come back because if I sell the forks now, I won't have anything to take my bucket home in. Oh, well. We'll come back and grab that later. Wow. Awesome driving to start the day. Let's see here. Let's see what kind of money we can get for this thing. Grease Monkey said he'd treat us right, and he did. That's not too bad. 4600 bucks. So that more than pays for this thing right here was just over 3000 I believe. So more than pays for that. Got a couple hundred more to boot. And we'll just pretend like uh, this thing didn't cost $25,000. That's what we'll do. We'll just uh, say, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe your clone took it. You know, maybe maybe that other farmer men took the money. That's what we'll say. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Dare him to say something about that, right? We'll see what he's got to say. Anyways. So, now i got to go get some front loader arms and come back and get my bucket. Or else I can't even use the manure spreader. But that's what we're going to be doing today. We, it's time for us to get some planning done. So uh, everything else is done, I believe. And we are ready to fertilize. And once we fertilize, there may be a few fields I have to cultivate. I believe the, the two fields up by the pig farm still need to be cultivated. So um, we will definitely fertilize, cultivate, and get those things ready to plant. But these two down here, they're ready to plant. And we need to plant them. We need wheat in the ground and we need it quick. <clears throat> Excuse me, I keep coughing. Um, we are out of straw, so it is. I think the plan. Well, we can't be completely out of straw. There's a the straw bale I said I couldn't forget if I put there. I knew I could do it. I have faith in me. Oh yeah, that's another thing I was gonna do. The Mahindra there, loaded up full of eggs. We're gonna take those and sell those. And see if we can hit those. First try, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're gonna take the whoa, whoa, whoa. Take the eggs, sell those. Maybe we can make some money back today, and we won't be in as much trouble as we thought. There's two wool pallets there. Um, yeah, we might be able to dig our way out of this hole before this thing's over with. No, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, I don't need to take that. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I may as well take it with me because there's no manure here, so no need no need to come back here, right? We'll get this thing somehow. We'll get out of here somehow. I got faith in this. Oh, this ain't it. This is not it. Oh, this is not gonna be good. All right, let's try. <laughs> let's try it over here. Oh my. This is what happens when there's no adult supervision around. Things just go off the rails. It's really bad. It's really, uh, nah, it's fine. It's good. Yeah. New manure spreader. Got a couple of dings on it. 
Scratch and dip model. There you go. That's what we'll tell him. But anyways, now we're off and running. I uh, can't do anything about that straw bale right now. I'll just have to continue remembering it because I was so good at remembering it the first time. Um, yeah. Oh, me. I don't suppose... Yeah, I'm not going to put manure or slurry on the grass fields. I uh, didn't really talk to Farmer Man about that part, what we should put where, but uh, I think we have a liquid we're going to spray on the uh, grass fields. And uh, as a matter of fact, I already have the sprayer and front uh, saddle tanks hooked up to the fence. So once we're done with this little uh, fiasco here, we can run over to the pig farm and, um, you know, pick up the fence and get bring it back and get it loaded up with some fertilizer. So that's the plan. We do have weeds on, so we're going to have to work on that sometime. <clears throat> I know a guy with a weeder, so we should be okay on that front. <laughs> I think we'll, uh, we'll be all right. But... Yeah, all right. Let me grab this thing. I'm going to take it to... Uh, well, we'll stop at the cow farm on the way. They don't have very much at the cow farm. Certainly not in a trailer full. But we may as well scoop up what we can while we're there. Go ahead and clean it out. And uh, use what we can to fertilize. So let me go take care of that. And I guess I'll catch up with you when we are at the pig farm. I'll be right back. All right, well, we got this field 40 done here up at the pig farm. We come and loaded everything up we had at the pig farm, and we severely overestimated our mileage on how far we were going to get on that manure. Oh, my. That took a lot more than I thought, so we, you know, I just barely finished this field. We're going to have to let the manure build up before we do that, uh, unless we're going to buy it, which... Um, you know, if you're going to buy fertilizer, we should probably should have just bought fertilizer that would have fit in a spreader we already had. So, uh, yeah, I'm really going to be in trouble now. Oh, boy. All right. Well, let me hide this thing somewhere. Might as well leave it here because this is where the manure is, right? Uh, I don't want to leave it out in the open, though. Let's see if we can get it around the corner here. Oh boy. No, no, no. Don't do that. So anyways, I guess the plan is the, um, the lime and solid fertilizer spreader is over here. The little three-point hitch one. It's over here at the pig farm. So I'm going to take that back with me. Uh, I'm going to go to the store, see Grease Monkey pick up a couple pallets of fertilizer. And I'm going to... I'm going to do the rest of the fields. We're going to just put down some solid fertilizer. That's what I'm going to do to get it over with. Uh, should go fairly quick. And I know that uh, we'll get a decent uh, mileage out of it. Um, it'll, it'll go a long, long way. Uh, way farther than... Oh, goodness. Don't say nothing about that. Nobody saw that. Swing the camera around. Nothing happened there. Totally a non-issue... Nothing to concern ourselves with. What is the deal here? I know that that is a spreader. <laughs> this didn't want to come with me, I guess. I don't blame you, buddy. I would have stayed there, too. So anyways, we're going to have to go uh, the solid, the solid, the liquid fertilizer spreader that I got on the fent. It's also empty. So I guess I'm going to go fill this one up. I need, because 69 is so big, I want to make sure that we can get it done with as few loads as possible. So I'll take this down, do the rest of those fields, um, come back and hit the grass fields, or not the grass fields, uh, 39 and 40 up here, the two arables up here. We'll get those done, and then we can move on to the liquid. So we got quite a bit of work to do. we got to get some seed in the ground and... Gotta get the ground all fertilized, so let's get it done. Get this over with. Um, there I go again, running my mouth. Did I miss a turn? I do this every time. I don't know. Seems like I would remember. No, I think this is the way to the pond. Oh boy. Oh, nothing. Nothing happened there either. Ooh. <laughs> 
This is getting treacherous, buddy. That thing just flopped right over there. I guess we'll go in camera. Get through all these trees, maybe. <laughs> this is great. Oh my goodness. Yeah, nothing. Nothing is uh, safe on these roads, boy. We are just dangerous around here. Anyways, I guess I can find my way back. Yeah, this is definitely the, the way to go. So coming up, this will be field 69 on our right. This thing, we're actually, let's cut across it. This thing is a monster. Uh, by far the biggest field we own, or Adrian owns, and it's going to be our cornfield. So this right here is just a piece of it. It goes on up and around on the other side of this little pond right here. Look at that. We get in here. We got all that over there. Try to swing this way. We got all that in front of us. Yeah, I just man, I can't imagine how much manure that would take. Considering how much I used on forty, I used what eight, nine thousand liters. What in the world? Hello. Um, I think the. Whatever was happening to the cases happened to this John Deere. This thing is going crazy. What is happening? Anyways, that's yeah, that's the plan. So this uh, this field right here in front of me, that field is good to go. It is fully fertilized and cultivated. Uh, field number one is fully fertilized and cultivated, I believe. It is at least cultivated in one stage of fertilizing. So those are both ready to plant. So 73 right here is going to be our root crop field. So we're going to put potatoes in there. So we can finally use that row crop planter with those creepy cutout dolls on it. I'm going to have to get him to get rid of those things. Every time I walk in that barn, those do scare the out of me, buddy. They, uh, yeah. Look like two dudes up there. Look like they're holding hands, too. That's even creepier. They're just up there with that weird smile on their face. They don't move. Yeah, I don't like it. You got to get rid of those things got to go so anyways let me go talk to grease monkey here we're almost to the store let me run in talk to grease monkey i want to get us a couple pallets here and see if we can fill this dude up and get some work done maybe maybe we'll have enough time to get to planting this afternoon so i'll be right back all right well we were uh we were right. It was way more efficient to do it that way. Uh, two pallets worth at the store, and we got field number one and field 69, two of our biggest fields done. So, and I mean, it, it only used a few hundred liters. We got plenty of fertilizer left to do the last fields and may even start on the grass fields just to use it up and uh, not have to go buy liquid. So... We can use the liquid tank. Uh, we're gonna, like I say, we're gonna have to get um, herbicide sometime. So we will use that. You barking it. We will uh, go get the uh, yeah, go get that in the liquid tanks. So that might be the plan. Yeah, hopefully we can get all the fields done. But I noticed I was keeping an eye on the prices. Kind of. Whoa! Look at that fly. Oh goodness. Hello, chicken. All right. I was keeping an eye on the prices, and I noticed that the eggs had stopped going up. So, um, shut that. Hello. They might as well sell them while they're up. Oh, twenty-six hundred dollars, something like that. So, we're gonna go do that and give us something else to do besides driving around the field for a little while. And like I say, maybe we can make a little money. Try to keep our job here. We don't want to get fired with our new manure spreader there. That was one of those uh, ask for forgiveness, not permission kind of deals. And I think, I think I had to go up here. I looked on the map, but yeah, you know how good my memory is, so. Oh boy, we are cruising. might be it I think both of these oh they're side by side 
by all fruits. Let's see. <laughs> That's not not what I had in mind. All right. Uh, I think that's a buy point, right? Buy all fruits. Maybe it's a sell point too. Where are we? Oh, uh, metal growth stores, metal growth dairies. Ah, we're in the wrong building. <laughs> Sorry. No, don't mind me. Don't pay any attention to us. We gotta go next door. That strap bones that box doesn't look like it's gonna hang out with us very long. Alright, let's run over here real quick. Maybe they wanna buy some eggs. Those guys are not interested in eggs, so they didn't want to be our friend. How do that's a great place to put a pole. Highly effective. Look at this thing. Didn't that look like an egg cell point? Boy, it sure was, wasn't it? Yeah, a couple thousand dollars worth of eggs. I don't know why my hand isn't showing up. Oh, there, there goes that one. Uh, my reticle, my whatever you want to call it, is gone. So, there, yeah, it's a couple thousand dollars worth of eggs right there. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. No more chickens than we have. Oh, suicidal chickens are coming in handy after all, so. Perfect. Oh, wait. I gotta get on this side of the road, don't I? I'll get in trouble and do things the wrong way here. Oh, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, well, let's go finish fertilizing. I guess we... As soon as we get done with that... Uh, yeah, the cotton field. That's what it was. I noticed when I was up there spreading the manure on field 40 that 39 still has the cotton stubble in it, so I'm going to take the uh, Steiger up there and cultivate. Take the Power Harrow up there and go ahead and get that knocked out and cultivated, so uh, let's see. Wait, 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 squeeze by right there. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's the plan. We will... Uh, we should be able to knock the fertilizing out quick. Uh, this thing, 18 meters, is knocked out the biggest field down there really, really fast. So I was pleased with that. And like I say, we got 1,300 liters left. I tell you what, since I'm this close to the store, uh, there was 200 liters left in a pallet at the store. Uh, this thing only holds 1,800 and had to buy 2,000 worth of fertilizer, 2,000 liters. So let me go get my extra 200 just in case we need them. And we're gonna start fertilizing. We're gonna we'll go get this thing done. So, yeah, let me take care of that. Run back and see Grease Monkey real quick, and we will uh, we'll get to work. All right, get hooked up there. We are back here at field 17 and 18 at the cow farm. I figure we stop in on hit these on the way through. Uh, get these grass fields done. And yeah, let the grass get back to growing. We need some more bales. We gotta make some more money. So uh, I think it'll be time to. Next time we'll be making hay bales and maybe selling some silage bales too. So, anyways, jump the fence there. Yeah, I wanted to show off what we did here. The boss man called. He said that that was entirely too much gravel and concrete around here. We were just mucking up the whole works. Uh, that stuff was getting everywhere. So he wanted to get it all out of here. So we did, I tell you what, me and former men, we put our heads together and we got out the shovels and the picks and the rakes and all that uh, fancy equipment there and we got it all out and then we went down to Home Depot and paid a fella to come do it for us. So that worked out pretty good. We got, uh, that man did a good job, didn't he? So we put a little road in here, give us a little path, that's really all we needed, I guess. And yeah, I think Mr. Adrian was right. It looks a lot better. Looks a lot better. A lot more uh, natural, I guess. So anyways, let's go over here and find my tractor and get back to work. We got, uh, I did the same thing at the sheep farm with the concrete over there. So maybe we'll show you that if we get back in time. 
but it looks about the same. It's not. Not a lot different. Alright. Yeah, this is... Tell you what. I'm going to be able to get my tires white and get this spread. Two in one. How about that? I like them white tires. They look pretty cool. This is just... And I tell you what. This is about the preferred method right here. Hey, look at that counter. It's just barely going down. You can actually count down with it there. And the whole time it's spreading 18 meters. That's not bad. That is not a bad number. And yeah, we're definitely going to have enough, I think, to do these last five fields. I think we will I have a little bit left over. We'll have to empty out to make room for lime next time. All right. Oh, I'm super excited about this. Grass will be growing as good as we can get it to grow. Well, uh, I shouldn't say that. Most of the grass fields will be going as good as we can get them. A couple of them need to be plowed. And like I say, I may start uh, mowing one and then plowing it. Going ahead and doing all that good stuff to it. Do one at a time. That way the rest of the grass fields are still up and mowable. We don't want to knock them all out. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that was an auto save there. That was just a meat crash right there. That had nothing to do with the auto save, unfortunately. All right. You think I'd learn to lie about that, wouldn't I? I was... I didn't do what everybody else does. That was auto save exactly exactly what that was. Anyways. Yeah. We got this, but I am feeling good about this. It is eleven forty four in the morning and I'm gonna knock these fertilizing fields out. Uh I'd say about one o'clock in the afternoon for sure. At the rate we're going. We'll be done and moving on. So I'm yeah, I'm kinda torn. Um should I go ahead and get the Steiger and cultivate or up at the pig farm? Or should I go ahead and hook the cedar up to my ride here and start planting fields 1 and 69? We could put the, uh, we're going to put wheat in field number 1 and corn in 69 over there. And we could get both of those done this afternoon maybe. I'm kind of liking the idea of that. I'm um, not sure exactly what we're going to put in the pig fields. Uh, I can't really plant there, but yeah, we could get them ready to go. We could have everything on the same state, which probably makes more sense. Um, now that I think about it, I'm just getting greedy. Might as well get everything ready at once. I don't know. We really need straw. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and plant one. That's what we'll do. We will plant the wheat, uh, at least we can have the straw as soon as it's ready. And everything else can just kind of wait as it goes. But yeah, we're going to need straw for both cows and pigs, so... Try to cut down on how much we have to purchase there. Especially since some jackaloon went and spent all our money. Now we're, now we're in trouble. Alright, well... Look on the bright side. We still have... 1300 liters of fertilizer in this thing after doing all these fields. I'm digging it. Yes, sir. Alright, let's see. Make the sharp turn. Maybe not. Admire somebody else's handiwork over there with the dirt. Looking good. Alright. Off to the pig farm. Let's take a little ride here. Armor Men keeps saying this is his favorite drive on the map. So let's go take a little tour. See what it's all about. It is a pretty great little path. Uh, lots of elevation changes. Um, different scenery. It's, yeah, it's a great map. I really do enjoy this map. A little sweeping turn here. Trees hanging over the road. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. You know what? Somebody mentioned it the other day. I think traffic is off. I haven't had to stop for a car in a while. Where is traffic at? 
There it is. It is off. That's ah, cheating. We can't do that. No, turn that off. We'll get to the bottom of that. Don't look down at your phone while you're driving. Nothing good's down there. Just that farmer men guy texting. Alright, let's see. What do we do first? I guess we'll do... Well, 40's done. I keep saying I gotta do 40, but no, we got manure spread on 40. So 40 is good. It just needs to be cultivated, or... I guess I could... I guess I could seed it. Maybe I just go ahead and plant it as is. So this one's done. Uh-oh. Uh, is that not how you get to... Till 39, obviously. Alright. Well, let's go this way, then. Hey, little bigs. Tell you what, we're right here. We'll knock this one out. Ooh. Get this thing done. Alright. Well, we're up here now. Let me go ahead and get these fields done. And, uh... Yeah, maybe I can catch you when we are putting some wheat in the ground. I'll be right back. All right, well, <clears throat> if you're going to go go big, uh, you know, go all the way, right? What did you say? We're going to be in trouble. Might as well be in a big dog house. So uh, what we did was we took the Z. Whoa, goodness, I forgot about it. I don't care for this whole closed gate policy around this place. It feels very... Very uh, limiting, I guess. Anyways, we bought 8,000 liters of seed from the garden store down there. And maybe that's too much. <laughs> maybe maybe it's not going to need that much. Didn't seem like it was too much at the time, but uh, as I started driving over here and thinking about it, yeah. Anyways, alright, I guess uh, it is what it is now. There's no sense in worrying about that, right? So... And do we may have to turn the help window on here? Pipe out the seed. Hmm. Maybe if I get in here. Wheat, sewer, clothes cover. Huh. Not off to a good start with my $8,000 worth of seed, are we? I think it was 7200 to be honest. I'm not sure it was eight, but that was pretty close. I knew he had to do something funky when he was trying to get the lime to go into the lime spreader. But it could be that this just doesn't cooperate with the cedar here. Could be. Something appears to be going on, doesn't it? Let's see. Close. Yeah. I don't think that's it. Piped out seeds. Make sure it doesn't have some weird trigger on it that's hanging off the back somewhere. All right, well. Yeah, hmm. Now I'm really in for it. I don't think you're going to load this truck. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Well, the good news is nobody's here, so if I take off, I could get a pretty good head start before anybody starts looking for me. Eh, we might be able to make it to Mexico or something. Yeah. 
I think it's time to get out of here. Turn that back off. That's disappointing. I was going to start planting some wheat, but now I'm going to have to go spend more money. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Goodness. I'll have to figure out a way to get it out of that truck. This seed has got to come out of this truck here somewhere. Somehow, some way. Let me work on that. I guess that's what, what I'm going to do now. Go try to fix my mistake here. And, yeah, we're going to call it a day. <laughs> I don't need you watching me fumble around and exercise in futility there. So, yeah. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I uh, wish we'd have got a little bit more done, but hey, that's how it goes, right? I'm trying to do this, uh, you know, the long way, not take the easy way. So, I think we did all right. So, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you... Have a good day.